Guam's fishing preserves, like the one here in Tumon, are known to be well protected. But unless you've been underneath the ocean, you don't know what's going on. So today, we take you underneath the sea to show you what's happening. With my snorkel gear ready, I set out to discover what the Tumon Preserve is all about. Thanks to the help of Department of Agriculture biologist Brent Tibbetts and his team, we learned easily that the preserve is already teeming with different forms of life. Tibbetts says the goal of protecting Tumon Bay is simple. The preserve here is doing well is a good sign that the parent fish are getting bigger, um, that then the fish are getting more numerous, and that the fishing is getting better in the areas outside the preserves. The longer they're in existence, the better the fishing should be in the areas around them. While hundreds of fish have returned to Tumon, various species of hard coral are also coming back in a bigger way. Beneath the shore, you'll find hedges of yellow parietes coral, as well as multitudes of staghorn ones. Tibbet says this type of coral is usually the first sign the preserve is doing well. In Tumon Bay, you'll see lots of very healthy uh, staghorn coral, which is a good sign both for the water quality as well as the fish population living around. It. According to Tibbetts, the coral also depend on the fish to thrive as these aquatic animals control the algae that grows on them. So what kinds of fish did we encounter? There were lots of uh, blue chromus, the small bluish fish that were all over the place. Uh, lots of half beaks, uh, the Chamorro name is Ankut for those, the, the long silver fish swimming at the top. Uh, lots of mafuti swimming in there, uh, lots of parrotfish, lagua. Uh, we saw a school of uh, palometa or uh, trachonotus, the skipjack looking things with the big fins. Um, lots of palaxi in there, uh, lots of gaudau, uh, lots of salmonetti and tea out. Although most fish are untouchable in the Tumon Preserve, Tibbet says seasonal fishing is allowed for certain species like the kitsu or convict tangs and other types of fish. And for more information on regulations, you can always contact the Department of Agriculture. Otherwise, Tibbetts recommends to take a dip and enjoy what our island has to offer. Josh DeKenko, Pacific News Center. Well,